Hey friends! In this video I want to show you everything about the content menu. So we will have a look at the shopping experiences, at the menu point media and the menu point themes. So let's start with the first point, shopping experiences. With shopping experiences you can create content pages such as shop pages, landing pages, listing pages and product pages. This is the overview so you can find all your already existing layouts or pages here. You can sort the layouts or pages by the creation date or modification date. You can change the overview so you can yeah you've got the possibility to sort the the layouts within a list or an image overview you can change the shop language up here and you can create a new layout here at this point i will not go deeper into the topic shopping experiences because we've got a separate video for this so if you are interested just go to the video shopping experiences. So let's go to the menu point media. Here you can upload new media files, sort them into folders and manage existing media files. So let's start with the overview. This is the overview with your already existing media folders or files. In my case, I've only got folders here. Otherwise, you would see your files directly next to the folders. You can change the language of the shop as usual up here. Upload files up here, but with the yeah, specific possibility to upload files or upload files from a URL. You can add a new folder sort the folders or files by creation date, name or size. And you can, yeah, uh, change the presentation. So you can change to a smaller preview, regular pre preview, large preview, or to a list. If you have got more folders or, yeah, more folders than um, what is it? 6, 12. Just press on the, the button load more and then obviously more folders would yeah, appear. Now I want to explain the actions which you can make with a folder or a file. So if you hover over a folder or a file you will get these three dots. This is the context menu. So if you click on this, you can now yeah, go to the show media part. If you click here, you will directly get into the folder. But you've got the possibility to go to the settings as well, to move the folder, to dissolve the folder, rename the folder or even delete the folder. If we now click on settings, we will get to the yeah, folder settings. You can rename the folder or you can change the default location for this folder. In the tab thumbnails, obviously you can change or create the thumbnail, uh, thumbnail size yeah, and can set three yeah, okay, you can inherit settings from the parent folder. This is not the case in my uh, case here. Uh, you can generate the thumbnails for this folder, keep aspect ratio, and uh, yeah, set the qu thumbnail quality. Then you can move the folder. So if you click on move, you can just, yeah, choose the new folder where you can or where you want to move the the product manufacturer move, uh, folder you can dissolve the folder you can 
rename the folder. Can just do it here then. And you can delete the folder. Now let's have a look at a real file. I will open my CMS media and find yeah, a proper file in it. If I just click on the file once, I will find various information on the right. Here again, I've got my actions so I can replace the file. I can download the file. I can move the file, copy the link of the file and delete the file. Then I've got the preview. So yeah, of course, a preview. This is the preview of my image. Let's close these. And then I've got the metadata. So I've got the name, the file type, the alt text, the title, and some various information about the size and uh, yeah, type of the, the image. Then I've got the point tags, where you can yeah, add tags to the file or the folder. And in this area, you can see where in your shop you are using the selected medium. So the place, uh, yeah, the places where the medium is used are directly linked and can be yeah, accessed by clicking directly. Let's go to the section themes. This section lists all themes that you have currently added to your shopware installation. You can also manage and edit them here. All themes are listed in this overview. I've only got one. You can use the pull down menu to change the sorting as usual and switch the view between listing and thumbnail. Each theme has a context menu. You already know this as well, where you can change and delete the thumbnail. You can add a preview, remove the preview, rename the preview or rename the, the theme and create a duplicate. If you want to, or if you have many themes, you can search for a specific theme in this uh, yeah, search area up here. Let's have a deeper look at a theme. In the theme configuration, you can individually design your theme. You can select colors and fonts here. At the top, you will find the assigned sales channel and then you get to the yeah section theme colors here you can define the basic backgrounds and frame colors for your theme the primary color can be found in the responsive theme for example in the heading and links this would be the service hotline and the color of the link for the contact form Then we've got the section for the status messages. These would be, for example, the green one for, yeah, example, you have subscribe, subscribed to the newsletter, so a success. The blue one for, for example, shopping cart is empty for an information. The yellow one for you have not ordered yet. This is a notice. And the red status message for errors. For example, there is no account matching the given credentials. Then we get to the typography section. Here you can adjust the font and text color of texts and headings of the theme. So font type text, font type headline, text color and headline color. An example for the fonts of the texts and headings is an element in the article listing. Uh, yeah, just like the, the name main product or the product description. 
in the section e-commerce, you can uh, change the, the appearance of the buy button and the display price. And last but not least, we've got the media section. Attention, <laughs> I will now list some numbers. So in general, in this area, you define the logos and icons. A viewport larger than 991 pixel will display the desktop logo. This is this here. Um, between 991 pixel and 767 pixel, the tablet logo will be displayed. And a viewport smaller than 767 pixel will display the mobile logo. The favicon is displayed in front of the URL in the browser and the app and share icon is displayed as a preview, for example, if the page is shared in social networks.